Every sport requires a particular level of physical fitness for a player to be at the top of their game. In cricket, each country has their own criteria to determine if a player is fit to represent the nation at the highest level or not. Let's dive in and see what it takes to be eligible to represent Sri Lanka in international cricket. The Yo-Yo Test This test was invented by a Danish football physiologist named Jens Banksbo in the 1990s. Australia was the first cricket team to use this test. Later, it became a norm among other cricketing nations as well. Although this test is still in consideration for selection, it is highly likely that this will be replaced by the 2km run soon. What happens at a yo-yo test? Two markers are placed at 20 meters apart. The player would need to make it to point A before the first beep and B before the next beep. The player should then return to A before the third beep. The sequence from point A to B to A is called one shuttle. After one shuttle, the player is given a recovery time of 10 seconds. As the test continues, the beeps come more frequent, forcing the player to increase his speed. The test starts at level 5. Next is level 9, followed by 11, 12 and 13 and so on. Levels 5 and 9 have one shuttle each, level 11 has two shuttles, 12 has three and 13 has four. From level 14, each level has eight shuttles. The highest level is 23. When a player fails to beat the beep, he is given a warning. The third failure is his final score. Sri Lanka's qualifying Euro test score is 18.3, which means a player should complete at least three shuttles in level 18. This test is taken at least once every three months. Next is the skin fold test. This is a measurement of the body fat level using the thickness of the skin folds at various areas of the body. This method does not give an accurate reading on the body fat level but gives an idea on a standard scale. Measurements of the skin folds are taken at seven different points of the body using a special tool named a caliper. The addition of all seven measurements should not exceed 80 mm for a player to be eligible for selection. As the latest addition, Sri Lanka's new physical performance manager Grant Luden has introduced a 2 km run which the players have to finish within 8 minutes and 35 seconds. It is said that this standard will be made harder in the future as most other countries have the cutoff at 7 minutes and 30 seconds for fast bowlers and 8 minutes for batsmen. Last week, 36 Sri Lankan cricketers took this test for the first time and 32 out of them were able to clear it within the said timing. Every Sri Lankan cricketer has to pass all these tests to qualify to represent the nation. So, the next time you meet an armchair cricketer who says he would have hit that ball out of the ground, show him this video. For premium content and exclusive member benefits, subscribe to thepapare.com today.